Hey guys, it's Rich with your Monday Spot in the Pick and Perspective. This week we're doing all sorts of different uh, variations of... Actually, I think we're doing it this entire month. We're doing different variations of different questions you guys have, have all sent in. If I can catch up to my tongue. So, each day it might be a little different. You might catch me doing one topic one day and Car doing an, a, a different topic a different day and so on and so forth. And I think basically the way she has them laid out here is we should, well, we're probably not going to cover all the topics, you know, each host probably will not cover all the topics unless we double up, but that's okay, at least you guys get the gist. So anyway, this week I'm talking about orbs and floaters. So, this comes from apple in apple pie, is what it, or in apple banana, I'm sorry. I think that's how you meant it to look there. Anyway, so basically he or she writes that whenever they go out into the night and they look up the sky, they focus, unfocus, focus, unfocus, and they start seeing all these orbs going everywhere. Some people call them crazy and all that stuff. So just wanting our opinion on orbs. <clears throat> So basically, I love ghost hunting. I really do. It, it gets my juices flowing to know that something's out there. And even though I know there's something out there, it's substantiated, you know, kind of. You guys can't see my hands. Substantiated somehow. Yeah. So, it, it actually gets my juices flowing being able to prove or disprove that something is there. So, but anyway. With, with regards to orbs, usually you see them uh, on film, even though we don't usually use film anymore, and most of it's gone digital now. Uh, you see them by, you know, pictures being taken by cameras or, uh, you know, a, a screenshot from a video camera, something like that, where you might just see this little orb that goes, you know, darting past, and it might have a face in it, it might not, you know. Some people claim that it might just be dust or it might be your imagination that you want to see something so bad that it's there. But the actual, like, once you disprove all that, what I like to think is that, yes, it is actually a spirit of somebody or, you know, some sort of uh, uh, reoccurring, you know, residual energy that's there that's playing itself out until it finally dissipates. Some some way somehow it's there's something there that is not of our material world. So a lot of times they say that you know it's a spirit that can't form a physical looking type being. It, it can't take shape. It can just you know be in a little orb because it doesn't have that much energy to it to actually become a physical looking being. Um, or to take shape, as you might want to call it. So, <clears throat> yes, Cara, I got your, your text. So, anyway. So, that that's my take on orbs. Um, I do think that there is something to them. I don't necessarily think that if you're only seeing them in the night sky and you have to focus on unfocus, I don't necessarily think that it's something that's... Uh, paranormal, if you want to say that. Um, but it certainly does have some validity to it. I, what I would say is to take out a, a video camera, take out a camera. You know, whenever you're doing this, take snapshots. Maybe you can catch something on film that, you know, isn't explainable. You know, that isn't a dust particle or something like that. Maybe you can find something to substantiate your proof and then take it to, you know, your family members that think you're so crazy and tell them, hey, this is what I got. What do you make of it? This is what I've been seeing. So with that, I'm going to close. May you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. Until next week, bye-bye.